In two days, a Dusty Trip video, we did complete the game. This is a ending to a Dusty Trip, so once you do get to a certain distance in the game, you will complete the game. Like, I am not even joking, as you can obviously see on the screen, because look at how far we did end up going. So yeah, we literally went that far, guys. We literally got an ending to the game. I'll let you guys know at the end of the video how you get the ending. So watch all the way through. I'm gonna explain, guys, what we've done to get this far, by the way. We are literally like the best people in a dusty trip. I'm not even joking. We can get carry on going for miles, but yeah. In this video, we did get really, really far, over like 100,000 meters, so... I'm gonna show you guys how to complete the game, so as you can obviously see guys In the new update, there's so many stops in the game now, there's so many buildings that you can go to And to be fair guys, you can never run out of fuel So as you can see guys, we are attaching as many stuff as we can to our van Once you do get to a certain distance in the game, you will not be able to attach stuff to your van Because the game does get so buggy but yeah, once you get to 5,000 meters, you can obviously see, you can get off of a bridge. Obviously what we've done to get to 5,000 meters is just basically just get a ton of water, oil, and gas. So that's all you need in the game to get far. But obviously you gotta watch out for tornadoes. We did actually get attacked by tornadoes and stuff. You'll see that right now, guys. So as you can see, a tornado did actually come, guys. So a tornado did absolutely destroy our car. But thanks for me being on the server and actually being smart. I do know how to unflip the van. The van, guys, is the best thing in the game. If you do not know already, if you've got a van, guys, you can basically always unflip the van. So if you're wondering, guys, how do I get so far in the game? Basically, always use a van because you can always unflip the van. So if you've got the option to use a van, always use a van, guys. Really important that you guys do use a van because, as you can obviously see, it's really easy to unflip the van. Just li literally, just need to push it over, and then you can unflip it. So it's really easy to do that. So the next milestone, guys, is going to be ten thousand meters. So yeah, if you guys are a sigma like me. You literally can just get a gun and just spray down all of the mutants or bandit people. Or you can just drive through. It honestly doesn't really matter, guys. But we had so much stuff attached to our car. We didn't really want to risk, like, just driving through. So we just put in the extra effort into actually killing all of the bandits one by one. Because we got so far in the game. And if I was you guys, we have so much stuff attached to your van as well. I wouldn't really go ahead and risk losing all your stuff because if a bandit do shoot your stuff, it does actually disappear if you guys don't know already. But around 10,000 meters, guys, there's where the game does get really, really buggy and we almost have an ending, guys, believe it or not. So yeah, once you do the bandit camp like I did, guys, the next part of what you need to do is this. So. It's 15,000 meters. Once you do get to 15,000 meters, it's really, really important that you guys go ahead and switch the engine. There's actually a V8 engine at the tunnel camp at 15,000 meters. So make sure that you guys are going ahead and switching the engine, guys. So we did end up switching the engine to the V8 engine. We did also fill up the car full of diesel we got 60 liters of diesel in the van guys believe it or not we filled up to the max just fill up the van attach tons of oil water to your van so you never run out of oil because we do need to get to 20,000 meters and at 20,000 meters guys this is where the game does get kind of crazy so, to 20,000 meters, to 30,000 meters, the game does get really, really buggy, guys. So, you can obviously see, we was trying to kill all of the cowboys. My teammate did actually die. So, basically, what happened, guys, is when my teammate died, we literally just drove into the, like, crowd of cowboy zombies. And then, I was gonna literally self-dynamite to kill them all and you can obviously see we got for long and we went to like a hundred million miles which is kind of mad i'm not even gonna lie but once you do get to that distance guys 
there's nothing after 20,000 meters. If you do get past 20,000 meters, though, well, what usually happens, guys, is that pretty much, guys, like what usually happens is that like the game just breaks, like it did for me. So yeah, even if you get to 50,000 meters, you just randomly get for long because the game can't handle it. But yeah, that's the ending in the game. Hopefully, this video helped you out.